The trimmings arrive at the processing plant frozen solid, ready for their transformation. The frozen blocks of meat are first pulverized into a fine ground mixture. Industrial-sized grinders, similar in concept to your home meat grinder but on a much larger scale, make quick work of this task. The ground meat is then transferred to massive mixing vats, where the real magic begins. Here, the various meat trimmings are combined in precise proportions to achieve the desired flavor and texture profile for the final product. It's time to give our ground meat mixture some personality. Salt, the backbone of any good sausage, is added generously. Then comes a symphony of spices, each contributing to the distinctive flavor profile of the hot dog brand. Paprika, garlic, onion powder, coriander, and mustard are just a few of the common players in this flavor orchestra. The exact blend is a closely guarded secret, carefully calibrated to create a taste that keeps customers coming back for more. Now for a bit of food science. To achieve the smooth, homogenous texture that defines a hot dog, the meat, fat, and seasonings need to be thoroughly emulsified. This involves adding ice and water to the mixture while it's being vigorously mixed. The cold temperature helps to solidify the fat, while the mixing action breaks down any remaining chunks and distributes everything evenly. The result? A cohesive mixture that's ready for its casing debut. Section 6. Casing the joint, shaping the familiar form. No, we're not talking about casing a bank. At this stage, the emulsified hot dog mixture is pumped into long, thin casings. These casings were traditionally made from sheep intestines, but are now more commonly made from collagen, a protein derived from animal hides. The casing serves two primary purposes. It gives the hot dog its characteristic shape and helps hold everything together during the cooking process. Section 7, smoking hot or steamed to perfection, time to cook. The linked sausages fresh from the casing machine are transported to large ovens or steam chambers. Smoking imparts a rich smoky flavor and a characteristic reddish-brown color. Steaming on the other hand results in a milder flavor and a paler appearance. The cooking process also helps to firm up the texture and kill any potential bacteria. Section 8, cooling down and suiting up preparing for the big time. Once cooked, the hot dogs need to cool down quickly to prevent bacterial growth. 